Hi guys, so today I'm going to do a video on my daily foundation routine. So right now this is my grossness. So what I'm dealing with, all these scars, redness, and yeah, just ew. <laughs> Alright, so let's get started. I've already moisturized my face with my Cetaphil Cream Moisturizer, which I've told you guys about before in the past, and just let it sink in really nicely. And now I'm going to go ahead and apply my primer. The one that I've been using is this one right here by Wet n Wild. And it's called Intuitive Blend Shade Adjusting Foundation Primer. Um, it's supposed to adjust, but it's um, it really doesn't. <laughs> I just use it basically for the primer aspect of it. So what I do is I just take a little bit on my finger here. And I'll put like a dot here. A dot here on my forehead and my chin and I'm just going to go ahead and blend all that out and if you want to you could also apply some on your nose as well ok next I'm going to take my foundation which is my Superstay um, makeup um, liquid foundation from Maybelline. Okay. Actually, I'm going to give that a good shake. Take some on the back of my hand. Just pour it out like that. Not too much. You can, like, about that is okay. That might be a little too much for some people, but I like to try to get a really full coverage. Okay, and with my finger again, of course, clean fingers, I'm just going to take it and dab like that and just put like three dots on each side of my face, three on my forehead, on my chin, and the jawline. And then if I have extra, I just sort of look where, wherever else I have any redness or just to kind of use it what's up on my finger okay then I'm just going to take the rest of the foundation that's on the back of my hands and wipe it off with a napkin okay. now for the actual blending out of the foundation I usually use my um, beauty blender but since mine is dirty right now I'm going to actually go ahead and use my MAC 130 sibling brush just like that So what I like to do first is just like sort of tap it in first go all around tapping motions and then start buffing it in You can do circular motions, whatever you like to do. I usually sweep under the eye here, up and down on the nose. Make sure you blend down on the neckline over here, under the chin, to the neck. You don't want to have like that separation of foundation and then your natural skin. So yeah, you know, just do how you feel necessary. If you feel like you have to add a little bit more foundation and buff a little bit more in, you can go ahead and do that, but um, I don't like too heavy of a coverage. I do like a full coverage, but I don't want it to get cakey on me and feel really heavy. Especially now, it's getting a little bit warmer. I'm probably going to go look for like a nice um, tinted moisturizer soon. 
because I really don't like wearing um, heavy foundation in the summer just because it's so hot and nasty outside. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the foundation part. Um, usually before that, let me see, usually before that, I would add, actually add my um, Kat Von D tattoo concealer in just problem areas that I feel a little too dark and that might sh show through the foundation. But um, just for the sake of saving time, I'm not going to do that because I would have a lot of spots to cover. But <laughs> basically, this is what I would use. And this is in shade... Let me see. This is in shade tan. So this is a Kat Von D tattoo concealer in tan. That's what I would usually use if I have a really dark spot on my face that just won't cover up with the regular foundation. Um, and it's it's really up to you if you want to use the concealer before or after your foundation. Um, I like to use it before. Um, so the next thing I would do is I take my um, my blot, blot powder in MAC uh, press powder. This one is in medium dark. And it looks like that. I just take that to sort of um, set the makeup in and also to give it sort of a matte finish because I don't want to look really shiny. I'm oily enough, I don't want to look shiny as well. Take that and just go all over the face and sort of pat it in. I've also been using, um, whenever, uh, days I don't feel like using this, I'll actually use my uh, Make Forever HD powder. That also works really great, and I like the way it keeps my face pretty mattified during the day, and I don't get as oily, so that's good. So yeah, I just set that with that powder, and the next thing I would do is I'll take my blush, and this one is... I've been using this one a lot lately. This is my Physician's Formula Happy Booster Blush. Um, and looks like that. And this is the color Rose. Oh, and I just dropped the brush. Okay, I don't use that brush anyway. I actually use the Equal Tools Blush Brush right here. I'm just going to go ahead and dab in there. And just go right here in the highest point of my cheek and upwards. So circular and then up. I like the really pink cheeks now. So I do it again on the other side. This also get, it smells really good and it gets a really nice sheen. So like if you don't have um, what do you call that? Like a highlight color to apply to your cheeks, you really wouldn't need it, but I really like highlight as well, so I'm going to add that. And the one that I use there is this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish here, and this one is in Soft and Gentle, and I'm using it with the same brush, just like that, and I just go in and just apply some right above the blush and like sort of circular onto my temple like that. Just to give it a little sheen. Very little on my nose because my, my nose is like, you know, the T-zone gets oily really fast. Dust it a little on my chin and on the top of my forehead a little. And that is my face foundation routine. After that, I would just go ahead and prime my eyes and start working on my eye makeup. But so this is my um, this is how everything looks. It's my foundation routine. This is what I do almost every morning. So yeah, I hope that helps some guys. Um, hope you liked and enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, so hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye.